Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to add text to an animation like the one you see before you. So first of all, you're going to make your uh, GIF like I have here already. I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS5. What I'm doing, whatever I do, you can do on CS3 as well. I don't have CS3 no more. I've upgraded to CS5. So yeah, um, so you're going to get your text and you're just going to type in whatever you want. I'm just going to... Type in hush, and I'm just gonna move it like right here, and then now you have that done. I suggest when you move your text around, though, first of all, always have your first frame clicked. So whenever you move it, it moves on all the other points. So if you move it on a different frame, your other frames won't have it there. So yeah, I suggest moving it on the first frame. Now that you have that done, um, if you want to add a effect like drop shadow or a gradient overlay to your text, you're going to want to double click your text, add it how you want it, but I'm not going to do a drop shadow, I'm just going to do gradient overlay, and I'm just going to normal screen, and I'm just going to lighten the opacity a little bit, and click reverse, just to have a little bit of softness to it. And when I do that, if you check my other layers here, it doesn't have it. So what to do to have all the lay all the frames have it is you're going to want to make a new layer after you do the effect. And mine is called layer 10. Click shift, click your text layer on layer 10, right click, merge layers, so that each frame has the text style on it. So now that that's done. It's just simple. Time to save. So you're gonna file, save for web and devices, and then just click give. Change your settings to what you want. Mine is gonna be at colors 128, the other 100, and uh, diffusion to pattern. I'm gonna change the colors to 256 to have all the colors there. It's a bit over the size, but that's fine. And click save. Just going to click change it to name whatever you want. Go to your where we saved it at. Open with Google Chrome. And there you go. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope it helped you helps you. Um and I'm gonna make another tutorial on how to do a different type of text on an animated GIF. Let me just go to my folders and I'm going to show you how to make this text. It's um, a B2B banner that I've used on the site. And the font says she gives me so much pain. And it's a part of the video. This is part of the music video, and the text is, the text is also part of the lyrics. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and um, wait for this one and um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.